Hey, good morning, everybody. Naomi Masuno here. Hi, Nancy. Hi, everybody. Okay, so um, today we're going to be covering um, online resources. So we have two websites to look for. It's the uh, Rotary International website and the district website. So we'll start with the Rotary International website. It's rotary.org. And we'll go over some of the, um, the key screens. And then at the end, uh, we'll have some cute question and answer. And then if you want an um, individual uh, tutorial with me, you know, I, I'm, I'll be happy to do it with you online in real time. So here we go. The Rotary International website is, um, uh, it has a public facing uh -huh. and a private uh, login facing. So that is the, um, this is what it looks like. And in order to get into the member information, you need to go to My Rotary and log in. So when you click on My Rotary, you at the top, My Rotary, okay, you're going to log in with your information. If you've never done that before, you're going I'm to- I'm sorry, Dad, I have to. Okay. Um, and if you've logged in already, it's sign in to My Rotary. So just remember that when you do it too many times with the wrong information, you're going to be locked out and then you need to create again. So your username is your email address that we put in when we registered you. So it's really important to um, keep up with that use your email address. If you've changed it, you need to change it in Rotary International. But that is your username. Okay. So when you go into My Rotary, it has um, many places that are interesting. So you have the Rotary Club Central, the Brand Center, you have um, a showcase, um, show, you have Rotary Ideas, the Learning Center where you can take courses. Um, many of you have taken the courses and then the Club and District Administration where you can find um, you know, a lot of good information and uh, reports. So when you log in, you're going to get to this main page and it has your profile, your club, information where you meet and you can also go into your profile and see um, what your history is on um, the donations to Rotary Foundation. <laughs> then you have your equipment. So this is kind of your home page when you sign in. Okay, so when you sign in um, and you go, you see the navigation bar at the top. When you hover over the words on the uh, horizontal navigation bar, then you get another menu of things that you can get into. So here you see um, the, on the first part, exchange ideas. This is where you can find discussion groups where they have a blog of things that you can discuss um, based on what the topic is. You can find groups. Okay, then you have, um, oops, sorry. The, uh, this is going back to the home page. So let's, let's go the other way. The next um, group is Take Action. And under Take Action, you have the Showcase Rotary Ideas. And let me show you on the um, Rotary Ideas, they have um, projects that are listed there. And you can list your own project and um, people can see what you're doing in different countries or for a different focus area. So ideas at rotary.org is where you can find that. So you find um, here, uh, where they have the description of the project, how many um, hours, and also on Rotary Ideas, you can use it as a crowdfunding and say, we need so much money and people will donate to it, or we need volunteers who can um, sign up to volunteer. Okay, so those are um, ideas that people want to get into. The showcase is when you're done with the project, and this is where um, the showcase will uh, feature projects that are done in different countries and you can sort by the topic, the country, the club, um, the district and find out what people are doing in the showcase. Okay, so here um, are some of the projects that we have uh, in Hawaii that are on the showcase. So um, uh, I think these are the um, Honolulu Club project. So really interesting if you're interested in a certain um, country to do a project, you can see who's doing things in that country 
and in that specific um, area of focus. So to add, you just uh, go to the showcase, add a project, and uh, put in your information. Okay, so that was under Take Action, Rotary Ideas, Rotary um, Showcase. Okay. So here's where you can put down in the ideas. You you can put the um, oops, you can put the vol uh, the volunteer hours that you need the volunteers to sign up and the money that you need to get donated. The next column is learning and reference. And this is where you can take classes. There are um, uh, classes by your role, um, by the topic, and there are a lot of courses that you can take online at your own timing. Okay. You can also find the manual. So the manuals for um, your committee chairs, your officers, um, even for the Rotary International, you can find all of the manuals in this learning and reference area. Okay. Then um, when you get into the learning center, this is where you can find the catalog, you can um, find by topics on what um, courses that you want to take. And it, it gives you um, a certificate when you're done and it keeps track of the courses that you've taken. The next column down is manage and manage is where you can find your um, club information, district information. So here, when you hover on it, there's this big menu that comes up, club and district administration. Then you have reports. You can go to Rub Rotary Club Central from there as well. Okay, so when you click on club administration, this is what you get. You can get, uh, you can find your club invoice uh, if you've gotten your invoice, you want to see the detail on how they came up with that number, um, you'll see that it'll have a detailed invoice um, under club invoice. Then on club and member data, you can get a lot of reports here. You can get uh, reports on foundation giving, uh, the, the club members in your club who signed on, um, your membership information, um, membership leads. A lot of great information. You see this box here on the side of update member data? If you click that, if you want to follow, if that's a favorite uh, place you want to go, you click it and it'll go to your My Quick Links area as a bookmark. I'm going to get coffee. Okay, so My Quick Links. Then the club reports. Um, there's a lot of reports that you can get. Um, and then you can also get the reports in the Rotary Club Central. So when you click on the Rotary Club Central, it's the goal setting tool in my Rotary. Okay, so my Rotary Club Central, it has um, the history of the club uh, numbers. It helps you track your progress and it creates transparency because the club members will see what the goals are and where you are. Okay. So what's in it for the club, for Rotary Club Central? It's one stop where you can see all of the goals that you're tracking. Um, it eliminates paper form. And for next year, the citation is going to be on, all online based on the information that is in the Rotary Club Central. So it's really important to update that information and put your goals in. Okay, so who can input goals into Rotary Club Central? On the club level is the president, secretary, treasurer, foundation chair, membership chair, and the executive secretary. Now, a, an executive secretary might be just someone who knows how to do all of this um, inputting um, or uh, wanting to keep up with the reports or inputting goals and uh, information on the district and the uh, Rotary website. And so you can name someone as your executive secretary to put that in. And if you're lucky enough, like Honolulu Club, to have um, someone like um, Martha, uh, that person is your executive secretary. On the district level, um, the district governor, assistant governors, committee chairs, and the executive secretary can also um, edit and put in goals. Assistant governors um, are only able to touch the clubs that are in their, um, in their area. Okay, so this is what it looks like. You have your dashboard for your club on what your um, your trend is, okay? So that's your dashboard. Then you have the goal center where you go into the individual areas, put in your goals. 
And you have the global view, which is everybody in Rotary International has all of the goals and numbers in there. Then you have service activities where you input your, your projects and keep track of that. Resources, manuals, um, PowerPoint, uh, flyers, and then uh, reports for foundation, membership reports, growth reports. Okay, so let's go into putting the goals in. Here is where you go to the goal center, you look for the goals that you want and see you have different um, um, areas there. You make sure you're in the right year that you're putting in the goals. Okay, and you put membership goals, foundation goals, service goals, and each area has its own um, set of um, criteria. And you click on the goal on the side uh, that you're, you're going to um, set. And then once it's achieved, then it's checked off as achieved. Some of these goals, Rotary International puts in the numbers, like membership and foundation. They will put in the numbers automatically. You're not able to update those numbers. Um, to for the, um, not the goals, but the achievement. Um, other achievements, you need to put in the number. So for instance, the number of people that went to, that signed up for a convention, you would put that number and if you achieved it, it's marked as achieved, okay? So that's where you put the goal in and make sure when you put in information, you save it. Um, otherwise, uh, you'll need to go back in and do it again, okay? Service activities, um, this is where you're going to put in your uh, projects. So you add a project or repeat a project from last year. So say if you do dictionaries every year, you're going to just uh, repeat that one again. Okay, and um, you put in a description of the project, um, how many volunteers you have, volunteer hours, the dollar amounts, um, uh, partners, so you put that, all of that information into that uh, project information. When you're done with it, you're going to um, click it off as achieved. And that's how you can update your service project um, goal is by putting this information into this service activities uh, page. So you wanna try and keep up with that because Rotary International and the district would like to see in total what we have done how many projects, when, how many hours, dollar amounts. And this is uh, for marketing. We can use that as um, saying, hey, this is what Rotary does um, all together. So please keep up with your um, service projects. Okay, then resources. This is where you find links and um, flyers, PowerPoints you can find. Then reports. You can find the Rotary Foundation reports, club reports on membership. Okay. Now let's go to the next um, column. That's the Rotary Foundation. And again, this is where you can find more foundation reports like who gave and who's a major donor or and if you're on track for E-Ray, uh, every Rotarian every year. This is also where people can uh, click on give and make a donation online. Um, this is where you can also find um, the forms for foundation. So if you have a multiple um, donation, individual donation, the forms are all in that give um, area. Okay, next one over is um, your news and media, and this is where you can find the brand center. And um, Janet and Ted went through the brand center, you can find mm -hmm. the logos, but I want to also let you know that you can find a template for making your club brochure in the material. And so it has a template, you change out the pictures, you put change in the wording, and then you can print it out. And so if you print it on plain paper, uh, colored paper, then it's, um, it's, it's economical. Uh, if you wanna do it on really nice paper, you take it to the printer and, and put it there. But lots of good resources in the brand center. Okay. Then the next one over um, is, oh, you know what? On the news and media, that's where you can find um, newsletters. So you can subscribe to newsletters on um, different topics like youth service and brand center and foundation, um, convention, and you will get the newsletter every time it's generated, emailed mm -hmm. to you directly. So um, you know, for your club um, committee chairs, this is a really, really good suggestion is for them to sign up for the newsletter and follow 
because then they'll get specific information on like vocational service and these are ideas that they can use in, in your club. Okay, um, the member center was the bottom, the end one, and this is where you can find um, the awards criteria for Rotary International. Um, you can find other resources. The shop Rotary on products is closing at the end of this month. So if you want to order anything from there, um, just do it by the end of this month. Um, then there's a Rotary credit card, by the way, if you want to get that, I think it's with Bank of America, um, the money that is spent on uh, charged on the credit card, a portion of that goes to Rotary International. So that's a cool thing. Okay, so Member Center is where you can find other um, resources. Okay. There's also, there's also um, Rotary Global Rewards, and this is where um, you, when you click on you know, it. You know when we do board orientation? Yeah. We should go over all the Rotary resources, uh -huh. what you can find in Club Central. Uh -huh. um, okay. Would you prefer to sit here? Either way, I can sit on this too. Okay, so in the um, Global Rewards, they have a whole bunch of um, um, organizations, um, businesses, that if you get, your if you order it through there, you will get a discount yeah. and a portion will go to Rotary International. So when you go to Amazon, for instance, they have the Amazon Smile, you can pick Rotary and Rotary will get a, um, a, a little um, commission for every sale that they have. Now, if you have a company that you have something to offer, um, because uh, for instance, Lane, I believe Lane's Gig Island uh, is on this and, and uh, Laura's um, Point Island me um, Medical, you buy things through this website, um, their company is being promoted, but Rotary will get a portion of the sale. So really good um, thing to have on your phone as an app and um, to look for these um, companies that are partnering with Rotary to get more ro money to Rotary. I just wanted okay. to mention how easy it is to do that. On the Global Rewards, Kat? Yeah, my, I, it was so easy. We, I filled out a page and like within, I think 36 hours, they had my company's listing there. Ah, good, good. Yeah, we, and we should promote that on the district website to, so that we know that you're there. Uh, thank mm -hmm. you for sharing. Um, so anyone who has a um, product, sell, or service, they can be added to the global report. Okay, so let's see. It's 11, almost 11. So we're going to go to the Rotary District website. It's rotaryd5000.org. So we have another website called rotaryinhawaii.org. And that one has uh, basic, it's more of the outfacing um, site. The district website is for, um, we want it to be outfacing for new members, but for you, you this is where you can find um, the chairs, information on the avenues of service that's specific to the district. Um, the calendar, events, um, we have the yellow pages, and these are all the things that you can find. So you go to um, the homepage, there's the navigation bar at the top. The district information, you can find the leadership people, you can email them, the clubs where they meet. But here under foundation, this is where you can find um, the grant forms, um, the deadlines for the um, uh, district grant information. It has a spreadsheet on how much per um, club uh, that you're getting, the matching global grant. Um, so the site page has all of the um, uh, grants that are available. And then you have the Peace Fellowship information. Okay, so news, you can subscribe to the calendar. You can also um, go to the yellow pages. So um, everyone who has a company or service, you can be listed in the, in the yellow pages free. So just add your category. If you want to make, if you want to do business with someone, you put in the search word um, like um, banking or technology and it'll list down um, all of the members, these are members of District 5000 who are um, able to give you service or product in that category. If you want to have a banner spot, like Aegis has a banner spot, so every time you go in, um, that banner is up there, it's $30 a year. 
Now remember that um, when you get into the site as a free listing, you when they send you an email every year to renew, you need to respond, otherwise they'll take you off and you need to re-input. Okay, so here's the district website. You log in um, on the top um, to member login. If you forgot your password, just click on forgot password. So everyone has a temporary password. So new members will have a de uh, temporary password. They can say forgot or the new, and then they will get an email to um, get instructions on how to input. So that's why the email address is really important for your club secretary to add in when they're adding um, members. Okay. Every person co can go in themselves and go to their profile and put in their information. They can put in their picture. They can put in um, their where they're working. Uh, they even can put a biography on um, themselves if they want to share that. So edit my profile is where you put that and you want to save that. Um, here's the biography where you can type in what your vocation is. Okay. Next, um, sorry, I'm, I'm kind of streaming through this. Uh, there's so much information, but I encourage you to go through the website and just um, uh, go to all the different links and find out what's on there. But the best thing about this club runner, if you have club runner for your club, is they have a mobile app. Go to the app store, download the club runner app, and on your phone, you will get information about your club, um, your club's website, your club members. So if you are somewhere and you need to get a hold of someone and need their phone number or email address, um, you have that right on your phone. So go to the um, app store um, and download that uh, app for Club Runner. Okay, so any questions now on the website? No? I have a question, Amy. Yes. Um, as a new uh, member, where would they start? What would you suggest they start? I mean, there's so much information there. New member. For just new members. If well, so for new members, if they're looking for um, basic information, they can go to um, the Rotary Hawaii uh, website or, or the district website. There is under member, uh, membership on the top, there is what is Rotary. So it has a little um, uh, video about rot Rotary information. There's a, a Rotary Basics link that they can download. Um, so a lot of information there for the district, but if they go to the Rotary International, that's where they're going to get so much more information about Rotary, all the avenues, all of the programs that they have available. Thank you. Thank you. Other questions? Yeah, I have a question, Mark, Mark Silliman, um, Westport Harbor Rotary Club. Mm -hmm. um, in addition to using Club Runner, um, are cl clubs uh, also having a, a second website um, other than Club Runner? The clubs can use um, another kind of um, uh, design, another website hosting area. Um, there's DACDB, there are many other ones, but the Club Runner is what the district uses. So you have your club website, which could be Club Runner, could be something else. And But if it's Club Runner, when you input information, um, your members will automatically upload to the district. And from the district, it automatically uploads to Rotary International. So um, you can have your club website for club information, and then it'll link up with, if it's Club Runner, link up with the district. I'm here. Um, I get, yeah, this is Joan Ozes from Monterey Bay. I've got a question on Club Runner because yes. we have our own our own club app that is disappearing. Uh, it's by a company called Group Ahead, and they're they're going out of business on May the first. So we're mm -hmm. trying to find a new app for our club. What's the fee for Club Runner for the year? There's an annual fee for that, correct? It depends on how many members you have. So sometimes if you have uh, 35 members, you might be pay $40 a month. Um, so you can test it out. There is, you can try um, on a test. And I believe when we went to pets, 
there was a special code for some of the discounts. So um, John, let me find that for you and I'll send that information and then you can test it out. You can call Club Runner directly and um, ask them all the questions about porting over all of your information from your current website into Club Runner. Well, we have a separate website, but we just use an app for, um, for uh, you know, messaging and staying in touch with things and calendar of events. And it's, it's, um, it's much faster than trying to go to our website and look for stuff. Mm -hmm. So um, you can still link that. So if you want a website, though, and you want to use the Club Runner, you can still use your different apps to um, communicate with people. Okay. John, okay. There, thank you. There is a different app that replaces um, the old app that you guys were using, which is what we were using as well. And the new okay. one is called Minch, M-I-N-S-H. We're trying it out and we're looking to probably transition to it uh, sometime in the next couple of months. Yeah, it's pretty handy to have a little app. Minch, M-I-N-S-H. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Um, hey, Gwen, you want to you want to see how to get to Rotary Club Central? Okay. No, it was just going between the two. I'm okay. It was just I was jumping on, and you were going between my Rotary and Rotary Central, and I wasn't navigating. I went in the middle, but I got it now. So it's okay. okay. Thank you. So Rotary Club Central, there's several ways to get there. You can uh, put a URL with the Rotary Club Central. You can, uh, at, when you log in and you have your profile, on the bottom, on the left, it says go to goals. You can click on there and it'll take you directly to Rotary Club Central. So many different ways to get there. Okay, other questions? No? Email me if you do have questions and if you need, um, um, me to sit down with you to go over different sites. I'll be happy to do that with you online. Uh, you at your computer and me at mine, and then we'll just go through all of the steps. Naomi, quick question. Zach from Up Country. Hey, Zach. Is there a website from the district in, within the district that you see is the best one that we could all kind of like look at and pull some ideas from? I'm not trying to play favorites. <laughs> hmm. Uh, well, if you go to West Honolulu Rotary, um, uh, we, we have a join button and the join button um, Club Runner uh, is still working on that. But um, if you have that, once they have it on there, the join button is something that is really good. Uh, pr prospective members can um, click that. Then your people, um, the people that are linked up with that um, join button will give them a call and see how uh, they can give them information about joining your club. Um, Rotary, the, I'm sorry, the club runner has um, a lot of information that they have in the site itself. So you don't have to populate some of the links or that information. Uh, it automatically gives you that. It has a, a link to the road, their um, main site international. So they'll feed you information about Toastmasters or other things. So you don't really need to um, put in a lot of information yourself. But West Honolulu Rotary is, is my uh, club. Um, of course, Randy's club for e-club, he keeps up with his. Um, anybody wanna volunteer their website as a really good website? How about Poipu? PoipuRotary.org. Okay. PoipuRotary.org. Anybody else? Honolulu Club. Honolulu, Honolulu Club. Club, of uh, course. Very active. Hello. Rotaryinhawaii.org. So, but I don't use Club Runner, but at least it's open to the public, and um, I want people to kind of like use it to market their own, you know, club in a different way. much explore the websites go sign up for the yellow pages and the newsletters and um thank you very much for logging in so the, yep. thank you the next session is on uh, disease prevention with james dr james han from the honolulu sunset club so stay tuned for that in a few in 10 minutes thank you thank Bye. you Bye. thank you, thank you.